Hello and welcome back to Volatility 411. It's Monday, February 8th. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are Super Bowl champions and the S&P 500 is over 3,900. What a difference a week can make. SPX realized volatility measures climbed last week with the 30-day measure moving up about two vols to 15.4%. 30-day SPX implied vols collapsed last week. They fell about nine vols to just over 16%. In other words, the spread between one month realized and implied vols in the SPX are now effectively in line with one another. The VIX future spread also experienced a meaningful shift over the course of last week. The curve moved from about 45 cents inverted on a month one, month two basis to a 255 carry or contango by the end of the week. That's a three point move in the front month roll market, quite a dramatic shift. Now, equity markets continue their move higher in today's session. The SPX is up another half a percent and is at all, new all-time highs. The small cap Russell 2000 is up another one and a half percent and is up about 15 percent year to date. There has been a huge outperformance on the part of small caps relative to large caps over the past five and a half months. That's a relationship I'm going to continue to track. Now, the VIX index closed last week at the low end of its one-year range, but still above that 20 level. The VIX is measuring slightly higher today at 2170 as I sit here. The term structure looks much like it did at the end of last week. In VIX options, the early trade has been slightly put skewed, which is interesting given the relatively low levels of VIX and VIX futures. The standard Feb futures and options will expire in cash settle on the 17th. And the at the money 24 strike straddle is around 310 mid market. Earnings will slow this week. There'll be inflation data, the federal budget, weekly jobless claims, and consumer sentiment on Friday. That's Volatility 411 for Monday. Thank you for tuning in.